Hi there, everybody, and welcome to episode 19 of the second chapter of the Gene Park. I'm Icon, and I'm thrilled to announce that we got so many wonderful things happening these days. We got the boomalisks braiding, we got the wolf shrimps braiding, and today we're hopefully going to uh, make the... How, did they, how are they called again? <laughs> make the dream of the... Chicken fallows come true. You know, chicken fallows are wonderful animals. I've chosen them because they can produce everything. They are the notorious animal that can produce eggs, milk, and wool. So, for me as a German, we have we have an own term for an for an animal that can produce all three things at once. I really grew fond of that idea. Let's go. Also, I hope that we're going to complete this room today. This will be pretty uh, high value if once it's done. We're going to slap in some nice statues as well. And I figured in the coming episodes, we're also going to research a couple of props because you know this place looks a little bit, a little bit dull so far. We need to give our give our guests something to gloat at. So, a Manhunter pack. Rhinos. Cool. <laughs> 13 Manhunting Rhinos. <laughs> wow. I'm in. So, Vaughn can just uh, cut it, and I think we need to rename this dude. So, Nikolai. So. Your new, your new uh, Nick is Nick, because I don't want to have Vaughn and Vaughn. That sucks. So, this dude's non-violent, so he's uh, not going to matter here at all. Now, the big question for me is, do we get the colony quick enough into the shooting range or not? To uh, expend all of my wooden traps for something as harmless as that. Sounds a little bit braggy from my side, but seriously, it ain't that uh, horrible at this point of the game anymore. So, well... Mm, we have a portion of our forces here. I'm not very optimistic that we got the necessary firepower quick enough, so... Nah. Abort mission, as much as I want to. We're not going to get this done in time so let's get over to our actual fighting range instead of provoking a catastrophe here what up with that other wolf shrimp by the way why is he not uh following anybody it's a really bad thing here we go so come on head on over buddy fenrir what's up fenrir why are you not following because he's not capable to. Dang it. So, uh, well, the rhinos are already swarming on in, so... Well. Let's see how this will play out. I mean, it's a frickin' wolf shrimp after all. But we can't really do much for uh, poor old Fenrir. The only thing I could have done would have been to keep hold open that door. But, uh, well... That wonderful idea came to light. Let's see if the rhinos are able to bang that door down in time, but... No. As a matter of fact, they're uh, ignoring good old Fenrir. What? That's extremely... Uh, surprising for me. Here, Fenrir now uh, took a blow on this thing, but... Uh, Alrighty. Let's see if we actually have to release any animal. I think so. Yeah, but... Nice! Alright. That's been easy. Let's see. Oh, there's uh, one more. There's one more. So, yeah, we need to rebuild all the wooden traps yet again. That sucks, but 
at the other hand, on the other hand, I think it really helped us a lot here in uh, surviving that thing here. Because, you know, I made it look easy, but honestly, that's an amount of rhinos that's really, really frightening. As frightening as rhinos can grow. A, a few more of them and we would have uh, needed to uh, use choke point tactics, but... It's been just enough for our firepower to uh, tackle it. Holy moly, Cortan, this place looks like a pigsty. It's supposed to be a rec room and not a dirt room. Okay, well, I think we still need, we were still needing to uh, cut chunks like crazy. And, uh, well, it's very, very uh, late in the day already. Whatever, we don't need to. Uh, the four seas are breeding. So, there have been a couple of questions lately that were quite interesting for me as well. Equine Paragon, somebody asked, is that a thing? I wanted to know, is that a thing? Because it really sounds like it could be a thing. We don't have so two equine genomes right now. Meh. Well... There's been a lot of really, really good comments in the last couple of episodes that really were helpful. Like, somebody pointed out that for genome frame production, I should have been smarter than that and produce chickens. I was... Uh, IQ 200. A chicken corpse can be used for genome frame production, so guys, be smarter than me and follow this guy's advice and just grow some chickens. Maybe I'll do this as well later down the road when somebody... Uh, offers me some, because, you know, we have pens and all. It would be a really, really brilliant idea. I don't want it to share that. It's really... Thanks for that. Helpful. Super helpful. I wouldn't have come up with the idea myself, but, well, with games like RimWorld, there's so many ways to approach the same topic that it's only natural that you're not able to come up with all the ideas yourself. Well, I love my job here so much. You guys are extremely helpful. Bumble drone migration. Well, to bat that, we can't uh, scoop out insectoid genomes. Or do we? I think it was... No, you can't uh, build this uh, excavator yourself, don't, don't you? No. You need to... Uh... Or, wait a sec. Genome excavator. There's a uh, vanilla bland genome excavator. I wonder if we use that on an insectoid... What would spawn? We'll try that. Although uh, these aren't uh, these aren't insectoids. I mean, or no, here view alpha genome, insectoid genome. So yeah, they are compatible. Wonderful. So uh, we're we're going to uh, collect a specimen or two, but uh, well, gotta be careful though. There we go. That's all we wanted. I'm just very, very curious if that's uh, possible, you know. Alright, so obviously we need to finish it off first. Oh, come on, you guys. Seriously? I'm just experimenting with insectoids. No reason to drop a mech cluster on me. Alright, that's rude, Randy. So, we're, we're going to do one thing at a time. Use Genome Excavator. Now let's check out what drop potted on us. Oh, God! That's four centipedes. Alright. Equipped with... Uh, Three heavy charge blasters and one inferno cannon. That's the optimal distribution. One for CC, three for DPS. Wouldn't have, would have come up with nothing else myself. A climate adjuster, making the temperature minus ten. Huh, neat. That doesn't bother me at all. And uh, mech capsules. All right, mech capsules are fine. What's not fine is the mech assembler. But beyond that. 
we're just not going to go outside anymore. Well, I think the easiest way to tackle this is just to, uh, well, we could shell them, but it's freaking four centipedes. Like, seriously, four centipedes. That's nothing that I want to take easily. So, well, it's a pretty cool cluster, to be honest. It has its challenges, but I don't see it as unfair, and the environmental thingy we're living on a permanent summer tile. This is actually more of a benefit than anything else. And uh, we got a high shield as well, so we can't mortar this. Unless we got EMP shells. Which we happen to have. Because I'm a smart man. Sometimes. Well, but I don't want to shell this, honestly. This is just... Uh, yeah. But we need to uh, pull up a new zone. So, Mech Danger. Hey, look at that. It's actually applicable. Nice. That's seriously nice. Fucking me. So, we, we, we gotta expand that area. I don't want anybody on this uh, area there anymore. And, um... Fine. Fine. I'm down. That's okay. We're going to play that as a card against future enemies. Because, you know, there will be the time when something really, really, really nasty is coming my way. And these dudes, they're living exactly in my entrance. Not the worst thing. Okay. So. I just need to digest how, how lucky I feel about that. But, uh, well, we need to we need to uh, work on the animal zone that we're in work out right now. So, first off... Did you just copy zones without a tool? Dang, I really need to uh, install a mod for that now. This is now why... This is now finally the point where I want to have that uh, mod which allows me to manipulate zones smarter. Ugh. Because now, well, you know, I, I don't want to adjust all that once more manually, but well, we have to. Animal danger. So, well. It's just the point where I gotta say. Going on into the mod list and uh, fixing that. Sure, it would be a permanent solution for the problem, but it would take way longer than just doing this quickly. But this just uh, shows me that the... I don't know which mod I, I ran once for those, but... There's a zone tool that I'm going to use in the future now. So, it's just for a bit old farming area. That's really important, otherwise your animals will just uh, destroy all your crops. Been there, done that. I found no solution to that problem yet. I mean, except for creating uh, zones like I do here. So, we're now going to make sure that the animals are not going to kill themselves, just like our colonists. Problem is just I need two different zones. Because I need to exclude the animals out of these rooms, so we got this. Whew. Okay. So and that's practically I think all we need to do. So, um, now, let's get back to our experiment. Ah, insectoid genome. Hell yeah, just like I thought. Or just like I was hoping. Can I clone that stuff, or...? Yes, yes I can. Wonderful. So, we got the samples we need. Hell yeah. Nice. Alrighty, beautiful. I'm really happy about that. Well, hunting just got a little bit more uh, complicated there. 
So we now need to uh, check out where the animals actually are. So I can't use this list anymore that easily, but ooh, whatever. So, uh, well, let's see. We're going to rename a couple of animals in the next episode. I uh, got some really good uh, things there. But I forgot to look them up for this episode. But I'm going to do this next one. And the good news is you guys wanted more names on the Boomalisks than we have Boomalisks. But that's not an issue anymore because we're breeding Boomalisks. So. Mr. Boombastic is in it. I, I forgot the other one. But, uh, we're, we're going to have one Mr. Boombastic for sure. And, uh, well, next episode, promise. Forgot this uh, on this episode to <laughs> check out the names. Table of Amnesty is disrespected. Outrageous. So, well. Exotic Goods Trader. Oh, yeah. So today it's an episode where we just don't get much time down. It's just, uh, you know, see? Constantly something new coming up there. So, Equine Paragon. I want that too. So, let's see. Unfertilized spinal beer eggs. They really do produce quite a lot of eggs now that I look more closely at it. So, let's see. We got the surrogate uh, thingies, but we don't have any Synthread. That's so sad. Or no Ultra Weave, or no Hyper Weave was the name. They got lots of cool stuff, but we ain't got no money to spend right now. Well, that's not entirely true. I want more of that Lid World Med. And, uh, dang, lots of components, but we are actually quite stacked up with the lots of components. Better than I thought. So, uh, we might be selling away some horses, huh? Why not? I wanted to reduce the population of these down to a minimum anyways, and if we're going for Equine Paragon, that would be an option, you know? Get rid of the uh, horses, get on in the uh, Equine Paragon. So we need that plus steel as, min as much of it as possible. We just need it. And uh, well, the Gorondon seed. I feel a little bit bad about never playing with these uh, nymphs, but... Well. Okay. They don't have any hyperweave, but whatever. We gained something out of that. So, Nick, would you please kindly pull that glitter world mid out of that pond. I don't know why we, uh, why everybody keeps dropping stuff into the pond, but it's not my ship. I'm just, uh, commanding people around to, to do that. Okay. Finally some normality, although I gotta say, it's bothering me a little bit to have this uh, little bit of a crisis down here. Especially since this mech assembler will create an army of auras. And that's one thing that I really don't like about all this right now. But at the, uh, at, at the same time, I feel like, what should I do? I mean, attacking this uh, head-on? No. No thanks. We are allied right now with the South Ether, so we could summon uh, friendlies, cool stuff, but I prefer to uh, wait until a really nasty pirate raid hits town, and then I'm going to use the pirates, and then I'm going to sweep up the rest, and if necessary, we're going to summon friendlies then. But not now. I don't feel like that's a good idea. So, Lifestop Wranglers. Boring people, they don't buy my critters. But let's see, they got Dinornis Egg, Allosaurus Egg, 
So, I mean, we could harvest some dinosaur genes out of that. It's the most interesting part from these guys. But... My colony really has an issue with tradables. They're not really producing enough tradables. But I also see where that problem is coming from. My whole tea and coffee production is not being listed anymore because the orbital trait beacon is no longer working out. This one is no longer necessary. I wouldn't have needed to build a new one, but well, we're going to use that on another day. So, Sidon, some... how's it going? As soon as he's done with the, with the rhino, I'm going to let him off the hook. Yeah, so Randy tries to bait me with some energy drinks. Nice try, Randy. But you're not go you, you gotta work harder than that to get me into the danger zone. Cool. So... expired but I really don't care about outside quests these days we just have too much trouble here on our hands because that's really a nasty situation to be quite fair four centipedes is a lot four centipedes are enough to annihilate this entire colony I don't like to admit it but it's just the case yeah, sure. I'll take another mech cluster. No, I won't. It's crazy Imperials. Alright, let's see how far Nark will get with our work. And uh, we're, we're going to set out on more on safer hunting jobs now. And also, yeah, Fenrir is already trained. Nice. Well, well. Ah, there's a rat. I was just wondering what the hell am I looking at? What's moving there? With alpha animals, you never know what you're actually looking at. Okay. That's one scary thing there. I'm still wondering whether or not I should take the initiative on that before the auras get to hatch out of their pods or not. That's the big question for me right now. Where I just don't feel like I get out in a, a, any uh, satisfying answer. Although I gotta say, all in all, one or two auras more or less is just not that... Uh, much of a thing, but uh, they all get produced, that would be an issue. Alright, I really gotta play this uh, whole uh, implant away one day too. It's not really fitting to this, uh, to this playthrough, but you know, with genetics I always have more plants than one. Genetic Rim has always been one of my favorite mods, and uh, therefore, don't expect me to stop here, that's all I want to say. Okay. So, how's the cloning uh, going there? So, we got... Did they already reach the equine genome? No, they didn't. We're going to answer the question whether the equine paragon is a thing or not in this episode. And, uh, well... Let's see what we can do about the, uh, the mech cluster. It is quite cold these days, though. 3 degrees Celsius outside. It's colder than usual. And, uh... If this goes on like that, 
we actually might think about a heater or two, but... Whew. Can it duplicate genome need material? I thought we had equine genome. Here. So, uh, what's the matter? Why can't we create any template genome? That's interesting. It looks like these little the, these critters here are not even eligible for um, for cloning. I had no clue, honestly. Day I learned. There we go. Ah, I need to mark it first for the hunt. So, I'm going to uh, take down the overlopes here too. And one last for Cortan. Those boomalisks will be awesome one day. They'll be a uh, entire. They'll be an entire um, background force for us. But gonna be good. Yeah, the bodies were simply too small. Crazy. Hot liquid. Devil Sheep Ram has a heart attack, so, uh. Can Dr. Philly please, uh. do her best? Okay. Because, you know, I'm quite attached to this one. These critters don't yield much Devil Strand, but at the end of the day, they do, so... Oh, wait a sec, guys. Yo, Narg. We want the equine genome. Because I want to answer that question. Because I'm really curious myself about it. Ugh. I've been too fast. Okay. Equine. Equine. Yeah, so we're, we're definitely going to go for that. Also with excellent... Uh, and definitely we'll do that. Although there's a pretty nasty high chance of something bad happening there, but... Wait a sec, uh, I'm stupid. Alright, good thing that I stopped myself from doing that, because I almost, uh, destroyed the, uh, the last of the equine genomes, because for a paragon I need two of the same, and, uh, I'm like, kind of like derped on that. Well, oh. catched it in the last second. Sonark, you can go to your vegetarian fine meal in a minute, but there are pressing matters at hand. All right. Hopefully all go well. Can't promise at this point, but we'll see about that. Beyond this, I... I am going to get rid of all the horses now. We are going to have something better than that. Yeah. Also, they won't eat my food anymore. Let's 
so. Oh yeah, I totally forgot we need to have one uh, virtual spot outside. No, not for this, but for this. There we go. So, my dear friends, that's going to mark the end of this episode. So, we didn't uh, really get much time down today, because there's been too many important things happening, but... Friendly visitors... But uh, on the same time, we uh, we got the situation pretty decently under control. I mean, there's going to be a lot of trouble with that. And we're rolling right into the first wintery winter, where there's actually cold and all outside. But I'm um, looking forward to that. It's going to be exciting. And I'm really curious to see how the hell we're going to get rid of the of the mechanoids in front of our base, because that's the most exciting part to, <laughs> to look forward to. So, guys, comments down below. I'd be super happy to hear from you. Promise next episode we're going to have some naming on those critters yet again. I kind of like... will think, or I will keep that in my mind this time. And uh, yeah, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing, because... There's daily content coming up, and I'd love to have you there. So, see you guys next time, and have a good one. Bye-bye.